Starting a business is exciting, but figuring out what it's worth, it's kind of tricky, especially when you do not have revenue. But don't worry, there's a simple yet effective way to do it, and it's called the Berkus Method. Let's dive in. I'm your host, Jan Pronen, and today we're diving into the Berkus Method, a framework that helps early stage startups to determine their pre revenue valuation. Uh, whether you're a founder looking for funding or an investor evaluating opportunities, this method is a total game changer. The Berkus Method was developed by angel investor Dave Berkus. It assigns value to key aspects of your startup and it helps you estimate its worth based on the potential rather than the actual revenue. So here's how it works. The Berkus method assigns up to $500,000 or another agreed amount to five buckets or so-called five success factors. Bucket number one, sound idea. Do you have a solid business concept? If your idea addresses a real problem and it has market potential, that's your first 500,000. Bucket number two is prototype or product development. Have you developed a prototype, minimum viable product or a demo? Progress here shows investors that you are very serious about what you do. So let's say if you have semi uh, prototype, you build it halfway, then maybe don't assign full $500,000 towards it, but assign 300K. Then the third bucket is quality of the management team. A strong team increases confidence that the business will execute effectively. A great team can be worth up to $500,000. Now, if you're a genius working by yourself, then probably you are not going to use the whole 500K in this. But if you have season of, uh, but if you have team of uh, three, four seasoned professionals, then you can assign full 500K to this success factor. Bucket number four is strategic relationships. Have you built enough relationships with key players, suppliers, or partners? Strategic connections are critical for scaling down the road. And the last bucket is the product rollout and sales plan. A clear go-to-market strategy is the final piece. You have to show investors that you can attract and retain customers down the line. Add all of these factors together and you get your estimated pre-revenue valuation. In total, this method caps out at two and a half million, more or less, depending on what is reasonable in your industry and geography. The Berkus method is especially helpful for startups that haven't generated revenue yet. It gives investors a way to justify valuations based on tangible progress um, and potential risk mitigation. But remember, this method is just a tool. Your valuation might also be influenced by market trends, competitive analysis, and investor negotiation. Think of the Berkus method as a foundation, but not the final word. So here's the recap. The Berkus method values your startup based on Factor number one, sound idea. Number two, prototype. Number three, team quality. Number four, strategic relationships. And number five, go-to-market strategy. So if you found this idea useful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow founders. And if you've got questions about the startup valuation, drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.